lichenoid disorders in this chapter we will be talking about lichenoid drug eruptions these are lichen planus like reactions which are caused by drugs we will also talk about lichenoid contact dermatitis and mucositis lichen striatus nitidus spinulosis and certain a little bit about um, benign lichenoid keratosis nicamps disease frictional lichenoid eruption and gvhd firstly coming to lichenoid drug eruptions these resemble lichen planus clinically and histologically they resemble lichen planus they develop weeks to months after starting the therapy and mostly older age group are affected here more more commonly more than 66 years is the common age group affected here most common site is the face sun exposed areas are affected in lichenoid drug eruptions and they present with generalized lesions lesions may look like lichen planus or they may be eczematous or psoriasiform or vitreoesiform lesions so they may look like all of these lesions as well the classical wickhamstrai which was seen in lichen planus is not seen here that is absent here and oral lesions are also very uncommon in lichenoid drug eruptions the main differences between lichen planus and lichenoid reactions are the mean age here in lichen planus is 50 years whereas it is more than 66 years in lichenoid reactions the site is mostly the flexures in lichen planus whereas in lichenoid reactions they tend to occur in chronically sun exposed areas such as the face and the lesions of lichen planus they are classical lesions they are pruritic papules or plaques are seen in lichen planus they are polygonal as well so there are certain piece to be remembered in lichen planus here whereas in lichenoid reactions the lesions may look like lichen planus or they may have other morphologies like eczematous lesions psoriasiform lesions or pityriasiform lesions are seen the classical wickham stray is present in lichen planus that is the white scaly lesions on the lesions whereas in lichenoid reactions those wickham stray are absent Associated oral lesions are present in lichen planus; they are very commonly seen. Whereas in lichenoid reactions, it is not seen. Histopathology of lichen planus will show compact hyperkeratosis, wedge-shaped hypergranulosis, and an important feature of saw toothing of the rete ridges will be present. And vascular damage to the basal layer will be seen. Dense band-like inflammatory infiltrate is seen at the DEJ. Whereas in lichenoid reactions, we see focal parakeratosis, and there is complete absence of the a granular layer colloid bodies are numerous and they present higher up in the epidermis in the lichenoid reactions interface infiltrate is less dense and it is more pleomorphic with abundant plasma cells and eosinophils in lichenoid reactions the treatment of lichen planus is with corticosteroids the first line will be is uh, corticosteroids whereas in lichenoid reactions the most important thing is to stop using the offending drug withdrawal of the offending drug itself will help in relieving that other than that we can also use topical uh, steroids also can be given in this condition also antihistamines to relieve itching can be given in lichenoid reactions next coming to lichenoid contact dermatitis and mucositis they are induced by certain chemicals so this lichenoid eruptions are induced by certain chemicals like we have nickel which causes it silver gold can cause and the uh, a common chemical used in car industry which is metacrylic acid ester that can cause this lichenoid reactions and these lesions start at the site of the contact so the lesions are seen here and intraoral dental amalgam materials can cause mucositis histopathological feature of lichenoid reaction here would be there will be deep inflammatory infiltrate there will be focal perivascular infiltrate and inflammatory infiltrate will have plasma cells and neutrophils that is about the lichenoid contact dermatitis and mucositis and here one more thing to remember is after discontinuation of the use of this dental amalgam the lesion will resolve on its own next talking about lichen striatus lichen striatus is also called as linear neurodermatitis linear dermatosis lichenoid eruption and zonal dermatosis it's called linear because the uh, the clinical feature is as such the lesions are seen in a linear fashion here so it is an uncommon benign self limiting linear inflammatory dermatosis of unknown etiology mostly children are affected 3 to 15 years is the most common age group rarely adults are affected here and girls are more commonly affected 
Eto pathogenesis, it is an enigmatic genetic and environmental factors are involved. Viral infection and immunization can cause this. ATOP is an important association of lichen striatus again. Children with uh, frequent uh, URT, uh, frequent cold and cough and also who have family history of asthma present with this. And the lesions are seen along the lines of Blaschko. So it is because of somatic mutation which occurs during development. Epigenetic mosaicism is seen. And the melanocytes, keratinocytes, Langerhans cells which are the target of immune response here. So the inflammatory infiltrate will be basal and suprabasal. Clinical features. It presents with shiny, flat-topped erythematous papules which cluster in continuous or interrupted linear pattern. And they will have a width of about, uh, have a width of about 1 to 3 cm. Linear lesions arise along the Blaschko lines here. And they may be solitary or unilateral. And in 10% cases, they may be bilateral as well. Mostly these lesions are seen on the legs. Lane involvement happens mostly in children and the nails, uh, uh, they will have uh, onychodystrophy and subungual hyperkeratosis is seen on the nails if the nails are involved. Also, uh, only single nail is affected if the nails are involved or no, and either medial or lateral border of nail is involved. And if the nails are involved, they will have a very protracted course. Follicular involvement can be present with transient focal hair loss. So these are the lichen striatus lesions. So in a linear pattern, you see papules being arranged in an interrupted fashion and the width of about 1 to 3 centimeter also is seen. There is sudden onset of these lesions and they progress in days to weeks. It is usually asymptomatic and sometimes mild pruritus may be present. And this mostly is present in atopic children will have this symptom of uh, mild pruritus. It resolves spontaneously in 6 to 12 months and post-inflammatory either hypo or hyperpigmentation can be present. Histopathology, uh, it shows epidermal hyperkeratosis and focal parakeratosis. Dense band-like inflammatory infiltrate will be present. And that has to be differentiated from lichen planus. DIF, direct immunofluorescence, helps us to differentiate it from lichen planus. Of lichen planus, it will show civet bodies. Numerous amounts of these civet bodies will be present. Also, there is presence of IgG, IgM. And C3 in lichen planus. That can help us to differentiate this from lichen planus. Treatment, it resolves spontaneously and it resolves with uh, PIH uh, in dark skin individuals. Other treatment modalities like topical steroids and topical tacrolimus can be given. Next, coming to lichen nitidus. Lichen nitidus is a benign inflammatory skin disorder of unknown etiology and most commonly it occurs in children. And here we see numerous pinpoint to pinhead sized flesh to pink colored papules and with flat and shiny surface. The site most commonly where it is seen is the abdomen, chest, penis, flexures of extremities. And also here we see Cobner's phenomenon or the isomorphic phenomenon being present. So the lesions occur at the site of trauma here. Pathogenesis is not known. Uh, it is considered to be a variant of lichen planus again. Both lichen planus and lichen nitidus can coexist in the same individual. Uh, unknown antigenic stimulus activates cell mediated immune response and causes collection of these lymphocytes and other inflammatory cells. So this is said to be the pathogenesis here. And also there is a T helper cell 2 uh, response which is involved here. Clinical features, uh, it presents with localized lesions and sometimes it is generalized. Mucosa can be involved, it shows discrete grouped yellowish papules and uh, in size of about 1 millimeter in the palate and in the gum, mostly in the hard palate. Nails also can be involved in lichen nitrous and they show longitudinal beaded ridges terminal splitting and irregular pitting. So these are the uh, kinds of nail changes that we see in lichen nitidus. There are certain variants of lichen nitidus like we have confluent variants. So the papules can be confluently arranged. They are arranged in a confluent fashion. And we have uh, vesicular lesions, hemorrhagic lesions, palmoplantar. Only on the palms and soles the lesions are seen. Spinous, follicular, perforating, actinic and linear uh, variants which are seen. Uh, the summertime actinic lichenoid eruption which is sale s a l e sale s a l e right so this one was discovered by Bady in 1978 this is an actinic variant so like we described here it's an actinic variant of lichen uh, nitidus and here we see this uh, affects only the fitzpatrick uh, skin five, four and five types are affected in uh, this uh, lichen nitidus so these are the lesions of lichen nitidus here, flat top papules and dorsum of the hand on the penis here and on the forearm here we can see. So this is a confluent type. 
histopathology shows thin epidermis lichenoid tissue reaction and the characteristic claw clutching a ball um, this is the histological feature which is seen here the ball represents the lymphohistiocytic infiltrate in papillary dermis claw is the elongated rater ridges near the margins and also there is basal cell degeneration so here here is the claw which is the elongated rater ridges here is the ball which is the lymphohistiocytic infiltrate near the dermis near the dej okay so that's the histopathology Differential diagnosis would be keratosis pilaris, lichen spinulosis, lichen scrofulosorum, verruca plana. Verruca plana is nothing but the flat warts. Then we have um, follicular eczema. Treatment is by giving topical or systemic corticosteroids, PUA, NBUB, immunotherapy with either DNZB or DCP. Astemizole, letraconosol, isoniazid, acetretin can be given. In especially palmoplantar cases, we can give acetretin. Next coming to lichen spinulosis, uh, it is an idiopathic disorder characterized by scattered 2 to 6 cm patches of keratotic follicular papules. Papules will be 1 to 3 mm in size, they will be horny spines, nutmeg greater feel is seen here on uh, this thing palpation. Symmetrical lesions are seen on trunk and extremities, they are skin colored, asymptomatic and they can be mildly pruritic, mostly affects the children and adolescents. Etiology again, ATOP is involved here, infection and genetics. Treatment would be by giving emollients, uh, midpotency steroids, salicylic acid, 12% lactic acid, retinoin gel, hydroactive adhesives can be tried. So, this is the lesion of lichen spinulosis, which presents with keratotic follicular papules. This is patches of keratotic follicular papules, and they'll have a net, nutmeg greater feel on palpation. Next coming to benign lichenoid keratosis, it is referred to as lichen planus like keratosis. They present with a single raised grayish brown or red brown papules or plaques which are 3 to 19 millimeter on the upper trunk and distal extremities, mostly women in 5th or 6th decade of life. Histopathology will be same as that of lichen planus. It is proposed that it develops from inflammation and regression of either seborrheic keratosis or from solar lentigen. So it is said that it is either developing from seborrheic keratosis or solar lentigen. So, this is the plaque which is in the arithmetic plaque on the patient. Next, coming to KLC or Nicam's disease. KLC is um, keratosis, lichenoidus, chronica or it is otherwise called as Nicam's disease. They present with symmetrical lichenoid papules in a linear reticulate pattern over the forearm, trunk, anticubital and popliteal fossa. They are asymptomatic and seboric dermatitis like lesions can be seen here on the face and scalp. They are, uh, they are confused with lichen planus again. Associations can be TB, renal disease, diabetes mellitus, lymphoma, hypothyroidism, hepatitis like that. HPE will show focal parakeratosis, acanthosis, epidermal thinning and dermal infiltrate will be present. Treatment is with the PUA, topical calcipotroyal, oral acetretinoin and acetretin can be given. So these are the lesions on the legs on the buttocks on the face you can see seboric dermatitis like lesions present here next coming to frictional lichenoid eruption uh, they present with flat lichenoid reddish to skin colored papules often they coalesce they present on the elbows knees dorsum of hands and fingers they're asymptomatic there's no symptom at all and seen in children 2 to 12 years history of atopy again is present here so we see that atopy is related to many of these lichenoid eruptions pathogenesis is with contact with some abrasive material causes this so here we see on the knee and on the elbow there are lichenoid eruptions are seen here GVHD, a graft versus host disease, it occurs after bone marrow transplantation or after heart or liver transplantation. Uh, this GVHD can be either acute or chronic. Acute is if it is, occurs in less than 7 to 12 days. Uh, chronic is if it is, occur, if it is occurring more than uh, 3 months of age. After 3 months. Uh, cutaneous uh, lesions would be lichenoid and sclerodermoid lesions are seen here. These cutaneous lesions are triggered by either UV radiation or physical trauma or infections. They trigger the lichenoid eruptions here. Lichenoid GVHD, they present as violaceous flat top papules and plaques which resemble LP. So, all of these lesions will look like LP but they will not be the classical LP. Associations will be there here, okay. The sites would be periorbital, palm, soles and ears. Nails, oral mucosa, genital mucosa also can be affected. Treatment is by giving corticosteroids, immunosuppressants like cyclosporin, azathioprin. High dose thalidomide is tried in this. That is 200-800 mg per day is given. Other than that, we can also give PUA therapy, NBUB. ECP and topical trichloromus can be tried. 
So this is the lesion on the women here, on the palms here and on the oral mucosa.